Drake's storyline after her loss. Post-certified lover boy, Drake proved that he is able to commercially be a huge success. 613,000 albums sold first week. Wide range of tracks, grand intro and champagne poetry still showing his lyricism being sharp as ever. Jabs at Kanye showing that he still wasn't over what occurred in 2018. Bits and pieces of different subgenres within the albums, whether we're having we're hyped up cuts with 21 Savage, Knife Talk, and whether we're sort of toning things down with fountains going on a little, little bit of a dance hall side of things. And then from there we get honestly never mind drake doing a complete 180 album with barely any promo and it's a dance album jersey uh jersey house influence and i'm not too familiar with the scene i'm not too familiar with like dance club music but i do know a couple things commercially 200 and 4,000 first week sales with barely any promo still commercially a success and the fact that drake doesn't feel contained in a box that he has to continuously push out albums with a low level of cohesiveness and sort of just throwing a dart at a target board. Like, all right, let's see. They're probably going to want some rap lyricism here. They're probably going to want a little bit of singing over there and just sort of double downing on the fact that he wants to drop dance, <laughs> a dance album. And as far as the critical reception, some people hate it. Some people love it. And, you know, some, some Drake fans are split behind it. Me personally, it isn't my favorite. However, I, I, I'll be lying if I say I wasn't playing it nonstop within that first month. I was just like, my initially, I was just like, yo, what am I listening to? But then, of course, I couldn't help but replay tracks over and over, whether we're talking about Falling Back, whether we're talking about Sticky, and, of course, Jimmy Cook. So at this point, Drake, after dropping Honestly, never mind. He's on top of the world. He's going to do numbers regardless. He's going to do whatever kind of music he wants at this point. He's not bound by that fact that he has to do numbers every single time. And he has to fit a certain Drake persona at this point, which is refreshing and exciting because it's a good step forward for the rest of his career. Now, here we are right before her loss. We, we noticed something. Drake and 21 Savage never miss. When it comes to their collaborations, they do insane numbers. Jimmy Cook's the most streamed track on Honestly, Never Mind. So it just sort of makes sense. Like, hey, we always do crazy numbers. You a dope rapper. I'm a dope rapper. Let's make a collab album. Here comes her loss. For anybody that doubted Drake's ability to make some hard hitting music, throwing petty shots at anybody and having an interesting dynamic and in another collaborative album, all of that got shut down. Her loss with 21 Savage release selling 404,000 units first week. No physical copies, all streaming commercially a success critically. I'm pretty sure we could agree Her Loss is one of the best Drake albums since I want to say more life. Of course, I'm going to let the album age a little bit more before we see if it gets, if it starts getting a bit, you know, better than more life. If you're reading this, it's too late. But we get an insane amount of heavy hitters, whether, <clears throat> whether we're talking about tracks such as BS, whether we're talking about Middle of the Ocean, where Drake continues to do the usual reflection Ball, uh, <clears throat> where he continually does a typical Drake track. And by typical, I mean outstanding, great, sharp lyricism. We're talking about being more conscious of himself, reflective, and just, you know, the usual Drake that just makes you want to look up every single bit of reference. And now continuously going through her loss, Rich Flex, major distribution on BS. And then we got things slowing down in such as tracks like Spin About You uh, and Hours in Silence. Pussy and Millions with Travis Scott. And this isn't for me to continue to go over the album, but Drake proves a couple things at this point. Number one, he's able to make some hard hitting tracks. He's able to change up his sound. We definitely get a style of Drake that we haven't seen before. And when it comes time to it, he could still be a bit petty. So here we are post her loss. What's next for Drake? Well, what do we have next for the self-proclaimed six God? For someone who strives to be the greatest rapper of all time, which is something he still does value. Well, at this point, we've seen that Drake can step out of the comfort zone. Drake is able to still do insane numbers doing that or teaming up with 21 Savage. We see he's able to run the charts. You see he's able to 
just run, run everything, of course, when it comes to the numbers. As far as the quality, we've seen a hunger and a rejuvenation in his in this and in her loss that we haven't seen since. I want to say if you're reading this, it's too late. You could hear the hunger. You could hear that. I, I don't want to say hunger twice, but you, you get what I'm, you get where I'm going for with this. Well. Again, something that I've stated in Certified Lover Boy, Drake is still striving to be the greatest rapper of all time. So at this point of Drake, we've seen that you could do three things commercially. We've seen that you can make great cohesive projects with another individual and you could step out of your comfort zone. I would love to see Drake continue to double down on both of these things. Continue to double down on the fact that you're able to go on different instrumentals such as her loss you're still able to sound hungry and aggressive but keep that keep that momentum you have where honestly and never mind where you're able to experiment with new things i would still love to hear drake rap about more personal things going on with his life like he did nothing was pre nothing was the same because at this point we hear drake we hear drake rapping but where's aubrey Granham. Where's Aubrey? The Aubrey that we will hear on So Far Gone, Thank Me Later. Everything's reached a point where it's just the Drake character and persona. And that's where we're at with Drake storyline, purse, post her loss, rap wise, bars wise. He's still, he, he at the top. When it comes to the numbers, he ain't falling off anytime soon. We're loving the new direction. We're loving the confidence. And I, I believe it's time to, to, I wouldn't say like change the entire hip hop landscape, but continue revolutionize, revolutionizing yourself. But don't forget about Aubrey uh, doing that. Don't, for, don't forget about the Aubrey we used to get, the bars we used to get with Aubrey on your way towards this. Now, 